A plan to deal with the bus driver shortage in Wake County could have thousands of students getting to school late. Yeah, CBS 17's Maggie Newland is live in Cary, where board members just got done with a, an update on this plan. What are they going to do here? Well, Rod and Angela, district leaders have been scrambling. There are less than two weeks left before traditional school starts, and they've had to figure out how to get all the kids to school without enough bus drivers. In Wake County, there are plenty of buses, but not enough people to drive them. They got a huge responsibility as far as getting all the kids to school. Chris Kaiser's thankful his sons had a good experience riding the bus. He gets on the bus right in front of the house, so it's never really been an issue thus far. But a plan to deal with the bus driver shortage means more than 3,000 students at Wake County Public Schools won't get to class on time. Transportation staff says to accommodate every child who needs bus service, they have to find options like having some drivers take one group of kids to school then double back and get more children. But that means thousands of students will arrive after school starts. Under this plan, 7,885 students will arrive less than 10 minutes before the bell rings, which means they may not make it to class on time. Another 1,446 kids will arrive between 1 and 10 minutes late. About 1,000 more would be up to 20 minutes late. 481 would arrive up to 30 minutes late. And 222 children would arrive more than half an hour late every day. First period class is, is definitely important. Um, it's the top of the day, um, really out of focus. So yeah, it's definitely important, kind of like breakfast. <laughs> the district says students will still be able to have breakfast at school even if the buses are late. Transportation staff says they're training more drivers and they hope to reduce the number of children arriving late by mid-September. And so the transportation director says that parents will find out on Friday whether or not their child's route is affected. He's asking parents to please be patient and understanding because even if your child is starting the year with the bus late, the hope is that it will not continue like this the whole school year. We're live in Cary, Maggie Newland, CBS 17 News.